what our role was basically, we were asked to make an exhibition with works from the Ulrich collection. So we immersed ourselves in the collection and really got to know it in a way. And I think our role as a curator for this exhibition is that we try to get our ideas across to the audience and not just make something that we like ourselves, but I'm actually really curious how people react to this exhibition. So in a way I maybe see myself on one side of the mirror and hope that people go to the other side and uh, see something that they find interesting or that they like. This idea of the, the German unheimlich, the, what was once very familiar to you, which has now become kind of this foreign thing, um, which does come across as a bit, it makes you uncomfortable uh, when you look at it. We have this doll that functions as a child, which is this play that you will accept as a child, but once you're an adult it becomes a bit kind of I don't know, uncomfortable to look at from the outside, and I think that's the uncanniness that we're trying to convey. All of the pieces are equally important to make the entire show because they do deal with so distinctive features. Um, if I would say a personal favorite, um, it would be the Gregory Crutzen, um, because I really like this idea that you give the, the viewer um, the space to interpret. I've been to Berlin quite a few times and uh, I always find this city intriguing and uh, I do believe that there's a reason why uh, Berlin is uh, one of the capitals of contemporary art. I find it really interesting and, and raw in a way, uh, which I think is unique. It's always a city that I, I like revisiting and find uh, new places and new galleries, new art. Liberty, um, freshness and unreal.